three divisions below them, were Carlisle United, who, with a team that cost less than David Beckham's right foot, were fighting for their very survival. If they failed to win their last match of the season, they would be relegated from the Football League and most probably go out of existence. With four minutes of injury time already played, things weren't looking good for Carlisle. With the game poised at one all, they needed to score, or it would be the end for the club. Enter on loan keeper Jimmy Glass, borrowed from Swindon for the last few matches of the season. It was the 94th minute, so basically we need to score a goal to survive, and we had a corner. Um, and I looked over at Nigel Pearson and, and he just waved me up. Certainly deep, deep, deep into injury time when Jimmy Glass went up for a corner. Somebody else got the first touch and it rebounded to him. It just fell to my right foot and I, I just couldn't miss. Glass! What a story this is! If you score a goal, you want to turn around and celebrate. Jimmy Glass mobbed by his teammates. Within a minute, the, the world's quickest pitch invasion had taken place. It's, um, it was fantastic. What a great day for Carlisle. Next minute, there was 6,000 baggy trousered Cumberlands jumping all over it. At the time, it was very scary, very scared. I actually got a nosebleed, I think I got punched on the in the face. Sheer ecstasy here at Brunton Park. It's really funny because the ref gets taken out, one of the fans jumps on the ref and knocks him over. Jimmy's last minute goal had won the match and ensured Carlisle's survival. It was one of those marvellous moments because you think everyone, you know, every dog deserves his day and Jimmy Glass was a fantastic thing for him. Jimmy became the toast of the town, even getting to meet the mayor of Carlisle. You imagine, well, he'll have a contract for life there, but I believe he was out on his elbow because he had some outrageous demands on his contract, like two cups of tea at half-time, which Carlisle couldn't run to, which is a great shame. Sadly, without a contract from Carlisle, Jimmy quit football and ended up working in a more relaxed environment. As you know, if I'm sitting there at work and not enjoying it, I always just look back in my, in my memory and look back to Carlisle and suddenly I've become a superstar again. Yeah.